All right, welcome back for another deep dive, you guys. I'm excited for this one. Me too. Today, we're going to be talking all about celebrity news. Ooh, FUD. Specifically, Leonardo DiCaprio. Love him. Who doesn't love Leonardo DiCaprio, am I right? Yeah, he's great. So we're going to be basing this deep dive on an article all about his recent night out in New York City, where he was spotted with Tiana Taylor. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I know. Of course, as soon as this news broke, the internet was just like, oh my God, what's going on? Are they dating? Are they not dating? People love to speculate. Yeah, they do. And I get it. I'm curious too. Me too. But, you know, we're going to be taking a deep dive. We're going to go beyond the headlines and really try to get to the bottom of what actually happened. Yeah, let's separate fact from fiction, shall we? Exactly. Let's jump into it. So this all went down at a party. At the Stafford Room. Okay. Tyon was actually hosting this party to celebrate the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Makes sense. Yeah, and obviously Leonardo DiCaprio shows up, and that just sets the rumor mill ablaze. Yeah, anytime he's even remotely near another single person, people lose their mind. I know. It's like, can he not just have friends? Right. Exactly. But here's where it gets even more interesting. Oh, lay it on me. So earlier that same night, Leo was spotted having dinner with his girlfriend, Fittori Soretti. Ah, so he was on a date. Yeah, it was like a quiet little dinner, just the two of them. Then he shows up to this party. Alone, yes. Now, why would he do that? I don't know. That's what we're here to figure out. That's a good point. We are. So witnesses at the party are saying that he and Tayana were seen dancing together, like pretty closely, laughing, having a good time. Hmm, okay. So, obviously the question arises, is there something more to their relationship than meets the eye? Right, you can't blame people for one I know, I'm wondering the same thing. But we have to remember that sources close to them have said that there was no PDA whatsoever. Really? Yeah, apparently Tiana was actually kind of acting like a buffer between Leo and other partygoers. Oh, interesting. Like she was trying to protect him from getting overwhelmed or something. So maybe they're just friends. Possibly, they've definitely known each other for a while. Yeah, because they're co-starring in that new movie together, right? The Battle of Bactan Cross. Yeah, that one. With Sean Penn and all those other big names. Yeah, huge cast and, of course, directed by Paul Thomas Anderson. Yeah, I mean, that's going to be a big movie for sure. Oh, absolutely. So it's not surprising that they would have connected on set. Right, they probably sp spent a lot of time together. Yeah, and anytime you're working so intensely on a project like that, you're bound to form some kind of bond. Yeah, that makes sense. And, you know, this actually isn't the first time that Leo and Tayana have sparked romance rumors. No. Earlier this year, they were seen together at a pre-Oscar party, and the media went crazy then, too. Of course they did. But they both insisted that they were just friends. So maybe it's the same situation here. They just have a friendly connection, and people are reading way too much into it. It's definitely possible. I mean, it happens all the time with celebrities. Especially with Leonardo DiCaprio, it seems like he can't even breathe without someone thinking he's in love. I know, it's kind of crazy. But to add even more fuel to the fire, Apparently, they left the club together around 3 in the morning. 3 a.m. Wow, that's late. Late indeed. Now, do we know for sure if they left in the same car or? Not really, no. See, that's what I'm wondering. I know, that's the million dollar question. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. We're left to speculate. Exactly, and that's what the media loves. I know, it's like they want us to come up with all these crazy theories. Well, it keeps us entertained. That's true. But maybe we should take a step back and look at their individual personal lives before we jump to any conclusions. Okay, that sounds like a good plan. Like, we know that Leo's been dating Vittoria, and Tayana recently went through a very public split from her husband, Iman Shumpert. Yes, that's right. So maybe there's more going on here than we realize. There could be. Let's dive a little deeper into their individual stories and see what we can find. Sounds good to me. Okay, so Leonardo and Vittoria, they've been together since last August. Yeah, August 2023, that's right. But they've been pretty low-key. Yeah, we don't see them, like, plaster all over the tabloids or anything. No, not really. They seem to prefer keeping things private. Which, good for them, honestly. Yeah, I mean, it's got to be tough to have every aspect of your life under a microscope. Totally, and the article actually mentions that they prefer intimate dinners. Oh, yeah, like it's sushi azabu. Fancy. Right, but still low-key, not like they're going to the most happening club or anything. I guess when you're Leonardo DiCaprio, you can have a quiet dinner pretty much anywhere. True, true. And there's this quote from a source in the article that says, Leo is smitten with Vittoria. Oh, that's cute. Which in a 
What do they say? What's he smitten with? So apparently he really likes her down-to-earth personality. Okay, that makes sense. And her ability to make light of his fame, which I think is huge. Yeah, I bet it's refreshing to be with someone who doesn't treat you like, you know, the Leonardo DiCaprio. Exactly. Someone who sees you for you, not for your Oscar wins or whatever. Right, exactly. So good for them. They seem like a good match. They do. Now let's talk about Tayana. Okay, yeah. So she's been going through a lot lately. Yeah, the split from Iman Shumper after seven years of marriage. I can't even imagine. That's got to be tough. Especially when you have kids together. Right, they have two daughters. Yeah, but from everything I've read, she seems really dedicated to co-parenting with Iman. Oh, that's good. Yeah, and she's super focused on her career, too, which is admirable. Definitely. I mean, she's a talented woman, singer, actress, dancer. She does it all. Yeah, it's inspiring to see someone navigate such a public breakup with grace and strength, you know? I agree. I mean, not only is she dealing with the emotional toll of a divorce, but she's also got the media constantly watching her. Oh, absolutely. They're just waiting for her to slip up or, you know, date someone new so they can create a whole new narrative. It's like they can't let people just live their lives. It's true. And it makes you wonder, you know, maybe that's part of the reason why Leo and Tiana connected. Oh, interesting. What do you mean? Well, they're both in the public eye. They both understand the pressures of fame. Yeah, and they're both going through or have recently gone through some major life changes. Exactly. So maybe they just found comfort and support in each other's company. Like a shared understanding. Yeah, and, you know, working on a film set can be incredibly intense. Oh, yeah, long hours, tight deadlines, lots of pressure. Right, and when you're working on a project with such a high-caliber cast like that, it's almost like going into battle together. That's a good analogy. I like that. It creates a unique bond. You know, you're seeing each other at your best and worst. You're pushing your creative boundaries. You're supporting each other through challenges. So it's not surprising that strong friendships or even romances could develop in that kind of environment. Exactly. But then, of course, as soon as those relationships go public, the media jumps all over it. And suddenly, every little interaction is analyzed and scrutinized. Yeah. Right. And people start drawing conclusions based on very limited information. Which brings us back to the initial question. Why are we so fascinated by celebrity relationships? I mean, is it just escapism? Or are we looking for something deeper? Like trying to understand our own relationships by observing theirs. Mm, I think it's probably a bit of both. Yeah. I mean, celebrity culture gives us a glimpse into a world that seems both glamorous and relatable. We see their triumphs, their heartbreaks, their struggles, and it reminds us that they're human, too. Yeah. They're not these perfect beings that we see in movies and magazines. Exactly. They have their own complexities, their own challenges, just like the rest of us. And maybe by watching them navigate those challenges, we learn something about ourselves. Perhaps, but I think it's important to remember that celebrities are entitled to their privacy. Oh, absolutely. Just because their lives are in the public eye doesn't mean we have the right to dissect every detail. Exactly. And while it's natural to be curious about their relationships, we need to be mindful of their boundaries. Right. Like there's a difference between being interested and being invasive. Exactly. And I think this deep dive into Leonardo DiCaprio and Tiana Taylor's Night Out is a perfect example of how easily speculation can get out of hand. It really is. I mean, we started with a simple headline about them dancing together. And now we're analyzing their entire personal lives. Trying to create a story that may or may not even be true. Yeah, and that's the danger of celebrity gossip. It can be entertaining, but it can also be misleading and even harmful. So what do we do? Do we just ignore celebrity news altogether? Not necessarily. I mean, it's a part of our culture, and it can be fun to keep up with what's going on but we need to be more discerning about the information we consume. Absolutely. We need to ask ourselves critical questions. What's the source? What's the agenda? Is this even newsworthy? And maybe most importantly, we need to remember that celebrities are real people with real feelings. Exactly. They deserve our respect, just like anyone else. It's like, how do we find that sweet spot, you know, where we can stay in the loop without overstepping? Yeah. It's a tricky balance for sure. I mean, everyone loves a little bit of gossip, right? Of course, it's human nature. But we have to be careful not to let it consume us, or worse, to start believing everything we read. Right, because a lot of it is just that. Gossip, speculation, rumors with no real substance. So what's the solution? Do we just, like, completely tune out of celebrity news? Not necessarily. I think there's a way to engage with it in a healthy way. 
Okay, I like that. How do we do that? Well, for starters, we can be more mindful of the sources we're getting our information from. Yeah, like not all sources are created equal, right? Exactly. Some are more reputable than others, some have a clear bias, and some are just, you know, trying to get clicks with sensationalized headlines. So we got to be critical thinkers. Exactly. Ask yourself, is this source trustworthy? Do they have a history of accurate reporting? Are they presenting a balanced perspective? And if something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Right. Always double check your facts. Do a little digging. See what other sources are saying. And remember, celebrities are people too. Yes. They have feelings. They have families. They have lives that extend beyond the headlines. I think it's easy to forget that sometimes when we see them as these larger-than-life figures. It is, but it's important to keep that in mind because words can have a real impact. Absolutely. Even if it's just gossip or speculation, it can still hurt people's feelings or damage their reputations. Exactly. So, you know, let's try to be a little more empathetic, a little more understanding, and a little less judgmental when it comes to celebrity news. I like that. It's like treat others the way you want to be treated, even if they are famous. Exactly. Golden rule applies to everyone. So the next time you see a headline about Leo and Tiana, or any other celebrity for that matter, take a moment to pause, think critically, and remember that there's often more to the story than meets the eye. And who knows, maybe by shifting our focus away from the gossip and toward the facts, we can actually learn something valuable from these stories. That's a great point. It's like we can use celebrity news as a springboard for deeper conversations about culture, society, and even our own values. Exactly. So let's be conscious consumers of information. Let's be respectful of people's privacy. And let's try to see the bigger picture. Well said. On that note, I think we've reached the end of our deep dive. Time flies when you're having fun, right? It really does. It's been a fascinating journey exploring the world of celebrity news, the power of speculation, and the importance of responsible media consumption. I hope everyone listening learned something new today. Me too. And I hope you'll join us again next time for another deep dive into the most interesting stories out there. Until then, stay curious, stay informed, and stay skeptical. And remember, always take everything you read with a grain of salt.